Hello kids, how are you there? Today is another magical day to learn science. We will learn learning magical adventures. I am so excited to guide you as we learn our new lesson. We will explore magnetism today. I am Teacher Ende, your science magician teachers for Science 4. Have you tried using a magnet? It is amazing how magnet works. It has a lot of uses which can be very helpful in our daily lives. Do you know that many electrical appliances use magnets? Mobile phone, speakers, and stereo sets have magnets to help them produce sounds. Appliances such as refrigerator, blender, and washing machine have parts that make use of magnets. The door of the refrigerator contains magnet strips called magnetic gasket. Carry up kids, ready all your materials, your paper, pen or ball pen, modules and magnet materials if you have them. For today's lesson, you are able to characterize magnetic force specifically, enumerate the different kinds of magnets, classify magnetic and non-magnetic materials, perform an experiment about magnet and magnetic force, explain how magnet force works. lesson, you have learned about the effects of force when applied to an object. Force simply defined as push or pull on objects. Force can be affect the size and the movement of an object. There are two major types of force, contact force and non-contact force. Contact force is a force that directly applied to an object while a non-contact force does not directly act on an object. Now, let's get started. This time, let us have an activity on how far you still remember your previous lesson. Direction. Write CF if the statement is contact force. Write NCF if non-contact force. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Item number one. Pushing a grocery cart. Contact force or non-contact force? The correct answer is contact force. Good job, kids! <coughs> Item number 2. A flag waving on a pole. Contact force or non-contact force? The correct answer is non-contact force. Good job, kids! <coughs> Item number 3. Throwing a ball. Contact force or non-contact force? The correct answer is contact force. Good job, kids! <laughs> Item number 4. Hammering a nail. Contact force or non-contact force? The correct answer is contact force. Good job, kids! <laughs> Item number 5. Falling leaves from a tree. Contact force or non-contact force? correct answer is non-contact force. Good job, kids! Good job, kids! Now, let us proceed to our new lesson today. Do you want to see a magic trick? Let's watch this. I have here now these paper clips. Oops! They all scattered. What should I do now? There's so many to pick them one by one. Abracadabra! <laughs> wow! Did you see that? How did I perform that trick? What I did I use? It is a real magic or there's something behind my trick? What do you think, kids? Yes, you are right! 
I used a magnet which easily attracted those paper clips. But why do the paper clips attract it to the magnet? Can you guess the answer? Aha! Uh -huh, you are right! Paper clips were attracted to the magnets because they are made up of magnets and the magnets are attracted to, mag to the magnets. Amazing, right? I know you are already have many ideas about magnets. This time, let us first check if we answer these questions. You are given 5 seconds to each question. Ready? Direction. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Item number 1. It is the power of a magnet to attract iron. Letter A. Magnet. Letter B. Magnetism. Letter C. Magnetic field. D. Non-magnetic material. The correct answer is letter B. Magnetism. Good job, kids! Item number 2. Glass, wood, cloth, and paper are example of material. Letter A. Magnet. Letter B. Magnetic. Letter C. Magnetism. D. Non-magnetic. The answer is letter D, non-magnetic. Good job, kids! Item number 3. The space where the magnetic forces work is called blank. Letter A, magnet. Letter B, magnetism. Letter C, magnetic field. D, magnetic force. The correct answer is letter C, magnetic field. Good job, kids! Item number 4. The force exerted by a magnet is called blank. Letter A, magnetism. Letter B, magnetic field. Letter C, magnetic force. Letter D, non-magnetic materials. The correct answer is letter A, magnetism. Good job, kids! Item number 5. Magnetic force can attract or blank and repel or blank. Letter A, pull up and pull down. Letter B, pull out and pull down. Letter C, pull toward and push away. Letter D, push away and pull toward. The correct answer is letter C, pull toward and push away. Good job, kids! Good job, kids! Don't worry, we will discuss all of this today. Just keep on learning. Do the following experiment on the strength of the different kinds of magnets at different locations. Materials need Magnets, bar and horseshoe A thin piece of plastic or cardboard Iron peelings or black sand What to do? Step 1. Put the bar magnet under something plastic of cardboard Step 2. Gradually sprinkle some iron peelings on top Step 3. Observe what happens Step 4. Do the same procedure with horseshoe magnet and observe what happens Guided questions Number 1. What happened when you put a magnet under something plastic or cardboard and gradually sprinkled on some iron peelings on the top? Number 2. Where is the magnetism strongest on a bar magnet? Where is weakest? Number 3. Where is the magnetism strongest on a horseshoe magnet?
power of the magnet to attract iron. It is an invisible force. Magnetic materials or substances are materials that get attracted towards a magnet. The materials that are not attracted towards a magnet are non-magnetic materials. There are three kinds of magnet, natural, artificial, and permanent. Natural magnets are magnets mined from the earth. Artificial magnets are magnets which are made or manufactured by man. Bar magnet, horseshoe magnet, round magnet, and U-shaped magnet are examples of artificial magnets. Permanent magnets are commonly an artificial magnet that keeps their magnetism for a long time. A magnetic force is the strength exerted by a magnet can attract, fold toward, or repel, push away an object. It is also exists around the entire magnet. A magnet has two folds, the north pole and the south pole. This space where magnetic force work is called magnetic field. The farther you go from the magnets, the weaker its magnetic force becomes. A while ago, you saw that magnet attracts the paper. But the question is, does magnet attract or fool all things around us? Why magnet then? don't stick to me? I will do a simple experiment to prove this. Spoon, nibs, staple wire, chopsticks, straw, 5 peso coin, another 5 peso coins, papers, and magnets. Let us see which object stick to the magnets. Is this ball pen stick to the magnets? Oh no no! Doesn't stick. What about the scissor? It doesn't stick also. Oh no no! Oops! Oh la la! Spoon stick to the magnet. What is this leaf? Stick stick to the magnet. Oh no! What is staple wire? Sticks, straw, leaf, scissors, and ball pen does not stick to the magnet and also pipe vessel cord. Magnets have invisible magnetic field which attracts certain metals. Magnets do not attract all metals. Objects made of nickel, iron, and cobalt are attracted to magnets. 
All magnets have two pole. One pole is called North Pole and the other is the South Pole. There are several types of magnets like ring magnets, rectangular magnet, bar magnets, and horseshoe magnets. Objects that are not attracted by a magnet like piece of cloth, wood, stone, and sand are called non-magnetic materials. These materials are not attracted by a magnet because they are made of plastic, rubber, and paper. Direction Write yes if the magnet attracts the object. Write no if does not. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Name of object Spoon Yes or no? Correct answer is yes. Name of object Coins Yes or no? The answer is no. Name of object, pencil, yes or no? The correct answer is no. Name of object, plastic cups, yes or no? The answer is no. Name of object, paper clip, yes or no? The answer is yes. Direction. Fill in the missing words. Choose from the words inside the parentheses. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Item number one. Blank is something that attracts iron, magnet or magnetism. The correct answer is magnet. Item number two. Are materials that get attracted towards a magnet? Non-magnetic or magnetic? The correct answer is magnetic. Item number 3. A magnet has two poles. North pole and south pole or front pole and back pole. The correct answer is north pole and south pole. Item number 5. The farther you go from a magnet, the blank is the magnet force becomes. Stronger or weaker? The correct answer is weaker. <laughs> Direction. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Item number one. It is the force that can attract or repel. Letter A. Letter B. Magnetic force. Letter C, temporary force, and D, permanent force. The correct answer is magnetic force. You got it right. <laughs> Item number two. It is the space where magnetic force works. Letter A, Magnetic field Letter B Magnetic force Letter C End of the magnet Letter D Center of the magnet The correct answer is Letter A Magnetic fields You got it right! <laughs> Item number 3 these are the common artificial magnets that keep their magnetism for a long time. Letter A, bar magnets. Letter B, natural magnets. Letter C, artificial magnet. Letter D, permanent magnet. The correct answer is letter D, permanent magnet. You got it right! Item number 4. What are the different shapes of artificial magnets? Letter A, oblong, square, and U-shape. B, circle, horseshoe, and U-shape. C, U-shape, horseshoe, and oblong. D, round, horseshoe, and oblong. The correct answer is letter B, circle, horseshoe, and U-shape. 
Item number 5. Which of the following objects are non-magnetic? There are A. Keys, coins, and pins. B. Spoon, pork, and pan. C. T-shirt, paper, and shoes. D. Necklace, bracelet, and ring. The correct answer is letter C. T-shirt, paper, and shoes. You got it right! Because it's real, keep safe, kids. Goodbye.